and I wanted to make this video focusing on Islam, the Quran, and comparing the Muslim perspective to the Judeo-Christian perspective. A great commonality that both Jews and Christians have that is not shared by Islam is a belief in the authenticity of the Hebrew Bible. Jews and Christians believe the Hebrew Bible is the accurate transmission of the Torah and the Hebrew prophets. Christians call this the Old Testament. Jews call the Hebrew Bible the Tanakh, which is a Hebrew acronym that stands for Torah, Prophets, and Writings. Now to understand the perspective of Islam about Judaism and Christianity, we need to break down their beliefs and understand what their so-called holy book, the Quran, tells them and how it affects their view. Muslims believe that Islam is the ultimate faith and they say it's the final revelation of the Creator's will. They claim that it's the only true faith and most honest path to God. And this is verses that they're taking directly from the Quran. They claim that the Quran is a testament from Muhammad, who lived in current-day Saudi Arabia about 1400 years ago. Muslims believe that the Quran was revealed to Muhammad from God through the angel Gabriel. So they believe that the angel Gabriel told the entire Quran word for word to Muhammad and taught it to his followers and his followers were actually the ones that wrote it down because Muhammad was illiterate. He couldn't read or write. So when talking about the Qurans, Muslims often say that, that the proof that the Quran is indeed a revelation of divine origin is found within the text itself. In other words, the proof is in the pudding. They say it has no contradictions, it has perfect history science, and they say that it's obvious that it comes from a divine source because of how perfect it is. And these are verses that are within the Quran itself, and again, this is where they're getting this perspective from because they're literally just repeating what it says in their book. So from the Judeo-Christian perspective, this claim is very bizarre, and it's almost comical when you compare their beliefs with the Judeo-Christian perspective. So I want to take a look at this claim that Islam is so perfect and it stands up for itself and just to reveal what they actually believe and what's written in this book something I think is very important to understand about the Islamic religion is that core beliefs that are built into it it basically leaves no room for debate or discussion with other religions and I'll explain why that is Muslims will often say oh we believe in the Torah and we believe in Moses and we believe in all the Hebrew prophets and we accept them all and they also say that they believe in Jesus and the Christian gospel but here's a tricky part that really separates them from any meaningful discussion with those faiths because on one hand they say oh yes we believe in them but on the other hand there's a clause within Islam that really leaves no room for any other faith except theirs the Quran Quran claims that both Christians and Jews manipulated their scriptures and the true versions of the Hebrew Bible and Christian Bible don't exist anymore. So they say, yes, oh yeah, we believe in it, but they don't exist anymore. The only thing that's real is the Quran. Everything else, the Christians and the Jews manipulated it for selfish reasons. Again, this is found in the Quran. The Quran says Jews and Christians changed their scripture to benefit themselves. So basically, whenever a Christian person or a Jewish person attempts to debate a Muslim using scripture, anything that they say that contradicts the Quran or that blatantly contradicts the Quran, the Muslim will say, oh, that must be one of the parts that the Jews and Christians changed. So literally, they have no reason to accept anything that's written in any Jewish or Christian book. So now just to put this claim into perspective, so Muhammad lived 1400 years ago, but the Torah was given to Israel on Mount Sinai over 3,300 years ago, and Christianity was formed about 2,000 years ago. Judaism's over a thousand years before Islam ever was in existence, and Christianity 600 years of Christian tradition before Islam came to existence, and one man comes and claims, oh, the angel Gabriel told me, and this is the truth, and everything else, oh, they're lying. Don't, don't listen to them, listen to me. Someone who's a believing Muslim they're not going to change their mind and they're stuck where they are. This video is really for people who are open to hearing other perspectives and for the rest of the Jewish and Christian world to understand really what this religion is really teaching.